You can't grow your business if you don't know what type of business you're trying to grow. And so if I sat down right now and I said, hey, you, yeah, you, what type of business are you trying to grow? Where are you trying to go? What are you trying to do? Who are you trying to be? Can you answer those questions? And so really this all comes down to what type of business do you wanna build? Do you wanna be a huge business? Do you wanna be multinational? Do you wanna have 15,000 employees? Do you wanna be a freelancer? Do you wanna work in a small town? Do you wanna be remote? What type of business do you wanna build? If you can't answer that question, why are you hiring people? Why are you working on operations? Why are you selling products or developing the next thing? If you don't know what type of business you wanna build, why are you spending any time working on building a business. And so when people come to me and they ask me a question, they say, Mark, can I have some of your time? I say, sure. They start talking to me about what they wanna do and where they wanna go, and I say, that's all awesome. You ask me for advice. The first thing I'm gonna to say to you is, what type of business do you wanna build? And they can't answer that question. And without that end goal, without that plan, how do you know what decisions to make? This is, this is hurting you. If you don't know the type of company, this is hurting you right now. Here's a perfect example. When I started my firm, I was the only person in the company. The first year we did $100,000 revenue. It's a pretty good year, I mean it was tough, but it was a pretty good year. I personally made $18,000. Now, that's a pretty big difference, right? Between $100,000 revenue and the $18,000 I took home. Why is that? If I'm the only person in the company, where did all that money go? Why didn't I take home more money? Why didn't I make more money? It's because from day one, I wanted to build a company that was bigger than just myself. I wanted to have a team. I wanted to have offices. I wanted to be able to bring people in and bring in freelancers and pay the right people for the right jobs. I saw the company not as me. I saw the company as something much bigger than myself. And so right away from day one, the decisions I was making was to run it like a larger company, not to run it like something that I'm freelancing. I would have made a lot more money personally if I took that hundred grand and I kept most of it for myself. I would have saved $18,000 in my first year on rent. It's a lot of money. My business coach sat down and looked at my books and said, why the heck are you spending $18,000 a year on rent? I wouldn't have hired that business coach. <laughs> I would have saved the money, right? The type of company I wanted to build was one that was bigger than myself. So I saw myself having 10, 20, 30 staff. That's the type of company I wanted to build. Last fall, I decided that I want to build a different type of company. I want to build a company that operates in more than one country. I want to build a company that has 140 staff. I want to have 60 clients working with us all the time. That is a very different type of company than the one that I've spent the last 12 years building. But the only reason that I can start to put plans together to hire the team, to build the structure, to go after the sales, to reorganize things, is because I know the type of company I want to build. And so if you want to work remotely from a beach in Fiji and have the business make passive income for you, that's very, very different than if you want to be the 50,000 person team in 90 countries around the world. And the main difference between the first and the second isn't how, how ambitious you are. It isn't how big you think. It isn't how large you can grow or scale this. It's the type of life you want. It's the type of business you want. It's whether you want to focus on making money passively and just sipping whatever it is, people's pina coladas on the beach, or whether you want to be in the hustle every day. Do you want to build a business that's mainly focused on revenue, or do you want to focus on values? Do you want to focus on building the best place for your team, the best culture? Do you want to focus on producing the best products because you want to stand up at some tech conference and have a thousand people clap as you walk out on stage because you are the person who did this amazing thing? What do you want? What do you want? That's what you have to start with. And if you can't answer that question, you have to get right with it right away. It may not be easy to say what I want. It's taken me two years to figure out what I want because sometimes it's hard. In the short term, it's easy to determine what you want. I'm hungry, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> in the slightly longer term than that, it's easy in your business to figure out what you want. And so if you're struggling, if you're not sure what type of business you want, Here's how you start. Think about the things you love doing day by day. Do you love being in the work? You know, if you're uh, at a design company and you're starting this design company and growing a design company, do you like to be the person doing the design? Actually doing the design? Actually leading the design? Do you prefer to work with the clients? Do you prefer to work behind the scenes? 
Do you prefer to be the person who just stands up and pitches and, and everyone stands and claps on stage for? If you're running a tech company, do you like to be the person who likes to dream and think about the tech? Do you like to be the person who writes the code? Do you like to be the person who manages the team? What type of person are you? Think about if you could spend the perfect day at work doing what you do, what is that? Second, think about how big your dreams are. Do you have revenue goals? Do you have size or team goals? Do you want to be on the cover of Wired magazine? Do they still print a magazine? I don't know. Do you want to be on the cover of the blog? Do you want to be famous? What are the things that drive you? Do you want to be able to help hundreds or millions of people around the world? What is it that drives you? And then when you know what you want to do and you know what drives you, what type of company will support those things? For me, when I was starting, I wanted to produce work at a higher quality than I knew I was capable of producing. I had really high standards. I wanted amazing visuals, amazing storytelling. I wanted the best graphics. And I couldn't do any of those things. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it myself. I did not have the skill set, but I wanted to own the company that can do it. You might want to be able to pull yourself out of the day to day so you can spend more time focusing on the big picture or working on sales or directing the company a certain way or passive income and travel or whatever it is that you want to do for you. When in the fall I decided to start shifting my business a second time, the main motivator for me was the type of life I wanted to have 10 years from now, 20 years from now, and in retirement. The type of gifts that I wanted to be able to give my family and my friends, the type of experiences I wanted to have. That's what started to change the motivations for me. So knowing what it is I want to do all day every day to help people, and knowing where I want to go and where I want to be, what type of company do I need to make these things happen? Because it wasn't the company I ran for 12 years. It's the company we're becoming. So you are going to sit down today and you're gonna start working on this. It may take you a few days, it may take you a few weeks, but this is worth it. Like, like this, is, this is life changing stuff. You need to know what you are building your company for and where you are planning to go and the type of company you wanna build because it will completely reshift your thinking. The domino effect will happen and you'll start to see the holes and you'll say, oh, I wanted this but I can't get this with that and I thought I was gonna go here but I'm in fact going there. You have to start this today. And so it starts with you. I'm worried that you're not gonna do it. I'm worried that you're gonna struggle and that a year or two from now, you're gonna be in the same position because that's what I did for a long time. And if you're watching this, if you made it this far into the video, please don't be me. <laughs> I'm gonna end so many videos that way. Don't be me. Because when I sit down and I talk to someone who's been doing it for three, four, five, six years and they're struggling and I say, what type of business do you wanna build? And they say, I don't know, that's unacceptable. So I wanna hear from you. I wanna know if you struggle with this, and if you figure this out, how did you figure it out? Because others can learn from it too. And like always, you gotta think big, you gotta be bold, and you gotta say yes. Hold on, I need to sign off. And I still don't know if, I, I still don't know if I'm clear enough. Am I being clear enough? I think, I think you have or a clear Or am I just dance, dancing around it?